I'm Rick Shapiro, speaking on the topic of asbestos and mesothelioma. Along with my law partners, we've represented persons injured by asbestos dust and families devastated by the toxic dust known as asbestos. Asbestos was used as an insulating material in a wide array of products and things sold in the United States, but it has been found to be one of the most toxic substances in the United States. How much asbestos dust does it take to cause disease or cancer? Take a look at this vial. We've had experts come to court and explain that a mere fiber or two barely visible to the naked eye that would fit inside a vial like this could actually cause lung cancer or a disease of the lining of the lung tissue called mesothelioma. There's no cure for mesothelioma and it devastates families. This dust is so toxic, it was the first toxic substance regulated by OSHA in the early 1970s and banned. Now, what types of products have asbestos? Well, prior to the early 1970s, in the railroad industry, engines, cabooses, various products, the buildings themselves were laden with asbestos. Outside the railroad industry, the insulation asbestos was commonly used. There are things like the compound uh, that joins sheetrock was full of asbestos. In any case, the entire environment must be analyzed with a fine tooth comb when a person is unsure where they were exposed to this toxic dust. The other thing that is amazingly dangerous about asbestos is that it doesn't show up for 20 to 30 years in disease or cancer. Some folks that were exposed in the 1970s are just coming down with disease in this decade. In some cases, spouses of workers who worked around asbestos as early as the 1970s actually developed diseases even though they didn't work where the asbestos was just from cleaning the clothing of the worker. In any case, we work with some of the leading medical experts and industrial safety experts to develop the evidence for our clients. And it is not an uncomplicated task in some cases where a client or a family member is not 100% certain of all of their exposures to asbestos. We have to act like private investigators, like lawyers, and like a professional team that is tasked with putting together all of the pieces of a puzzle. If we can help you, fill out our quick contact form on this website or call us toll free anytime. Statutes of limitations apply, so if you have any questions, call us immediately. Thank you.